Oh, yes. So that's uh, Milasa. And I will try call now and see how it goes. Uh, stay with me a couple more minutes, a couple more seconds, and uh, I'll try. So give me, give me a sec. Hello, hello. We can't, we can't, uh, just, we can't see you just a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just no a problem. second. No uh, problem. It, it's so need my, my password and so on. Oh, wait a second. No worries. No worries. We got time. So. Uh huh. Yeah. Sudden. Huh? Cool. Yeah. Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. How are you? So Good. I would like Thank to you. welcome. I would like to welcome, warm welcome on the radio blast stream show. Uh, Milasa, join us today uh, from Copenhagen. That's where you are at this mm -hmm. moment, Milasa? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. How's the situation uh, with the COVID-19 in, in uh, uh, Denmark these days? It's, it's all, all is fine. All is open, finally. Uh, but it's never been, it never been uh, the same as in Russia, for example, that you cannot go uh, outside or something like that. People were always is uh, able to walk but just in distance and yeah uh, kids couldn't go to school and then then they were also allowed so everything is they they quite disciplined the danish people so i think it went very well okay and uh, i think we one of the those countries who are not being in trouble uh in real trouble yeah okay Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you for the for the quiet update. Um, so let's let's talk about let's I know you just released a new song today, which is amazing. Yeah. We just played a song a couple of seconds ago. It's called What If I Say? And um, so what if I say what? <laughs> Uh, you should ask it this question <laughs> um, the Emily Dickinson who wrote this <laughs> who wrote this uh, okay. beautiful lyrics poem. Um, you know, she wrote about love, about life, about she was very, very mysterious poet and then maybe that's why she, she caught me uh, at the second when I first, uh, wrote her poems mm -hmm. so I just loved it I just felt like uh, I want to sing it mm -hmm. I want to give it a sound and uh, because um, her life is really um, really not typical life uh, she had as uh, as ordinary people she was almost uh it's okay. almost mm -hmm, almost uh, uh really traveling somewhere and she could not even publish her poetry mm -hmm. because at that time it was i mean you know a woman who write poems mm -hmm. what is it yeah so she uh, she released only 10 poems mm -hmm. for the while she was uh, alive Yes. And after her death, her uh, sister found almost 2,000. Mm. And wow. when this being released, uh, Americans found out that they lost uh, one of the greatest poets of all time. So I don't know. I, I just love her poet. Uh, and I would really, I would suggest <laughs> you to read some, or, or maybe, maybe I even I have an idea to write the whole album with her, on her with her poems. Don't know yet if I find um, those poems which can be, which can live in, which can be uh, harmonious, you know, with music. But at at least at the moment now I have two. 
The second will be, it's called Lullaby. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll release it sometime, maybe in autumn or, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also a very beautiful song. Mm. So before, uh, so this is the one was my question because uh, uh, when I'm when I'm reading your your story, it says you know uh, songwriter. Um, so I was in impression you this is all your work. So you got some uh, ideas from uh, from the writer from the poem writer. Was what was her name again? Dickinson? Yeah, I I just uh, Emily Dickinson. Emily mm -hmm. Dickinson. So that was yeah. an inspiration I took, for, uh, for the lyrics. Sorry, cut you off. Yeah, I, t I took, I think I took two of her poems and put together oh, uh, okay. in one song. Yeah, yeah. Because at some point I, I felt like uh, there, be, the, there should be some light in, in the middle. So I found uh, another part of her lyrics, which, would, uh, which were suitable and uh, composed more light melody, let's say. Mm -hmm. So to give, to give a little bit light to this dark song, you know. Um, mm -hmm. It's, so you, you're in Copenhagen now. So where's uh, Milasa coming from? Where are you from mm -hmm. originally? And what do you do? And what are you doing in Copenhagen? Uh, originally, I'm from Russia. Uh, it's a uh, it place in Ural Mountains, with Trehgorn, which means uh, th basically three mountains. Mm -hmm. It means that uh, it's a very small town. With uh, it's actually a closed town. Mm -hmm. It's one of the military towns what which we have in Russia. Um, it's a secret town. It's it has been. Mm. You couldn't even find it on a map, so something like that. Really? But uh, yeah, it's been for until 1990, I think. Uh, yeah, with a very beautiful uh, nature, and uh, some people call it small uh, Switzerland mm -hmm. because we have this uh, ski resorts and uh, you know the stuff. Uh, beautiful, beautiful nature and mountains and so on and so on. So I guess my music is also inspired much by by place where I've been, I grew up. Uh, um, and then I moved uh, at age of, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh-huh. Uh, I moved from there. I, I moved from that place because I, uh, you know, it's a small town with a, uh, Anyway, and I wanted to make something bigger in my life, so I decided to move to Moscow uh, without really have any friends or you know relatives or you know. But, but e eagerness, how do you say, in me that um, it was something stronger than than that than the fear mm -hmm. that I, I wanted to I wanted to continue I wanted to do something something uh in my life mm -hmm. so um yeah that was six years in moscow very interesting years where i i met lots of musicians where i released my uh, first cd uh, it's in russian it's actually available on uh, itunes um, what's, what's it called and then it's called painted heart painted heart beautiful name mm-hmm Mm -hmm. um, and there was lots of also TV, radio stations and festivals all over uh, Russia uh, but then yeah I had such a period and maybe it was a time for me to make another step and uh, I met Danish guy and we got married and I moved here and I gave birth uh, a beautiful daughter she's 11 now mm. and then we got divorced, you know, it's a very typical story. So, <laughs> and, but I ne never <laughs> stopped making music. Huh. I never stopped playing and singing and uh, making words. Um, so, um, yeah, and uh, guitar was my, always my um, a big passion. 
and maybe even bigger bigger passion uh who has even bigger pa- passion for guitar it was my mom who uh who introduced it to me when i was seven years old and she said yulia maybe you would play guitar and uh at that at that age i could not really you know i could not really understand what guitar is because um my image of guitar was you know these guys who play in three chords very very boring chords sitting on the ground and singing such songs you know i just didn't want to be a part of that world i wanted to play piano as uh, all normal girls you know and she said yulia i will never buy you a piano it was quite expensive uh, at the time and i was real like was dreaming so so much about it mm. but then i kind of i kind of say okay may, maybe i should try and then the second instrument the music school was was actually a piano so i i do play piano anyway <laughs> yeah so some uh, youtube um, videos mm. uh, with the way you play piano so uh definitely uh, oh. definitely uh you know your future fans uh whenever we're going to see today because uh the the genre we are playing on radio blastream is a little bit different than you are playing so uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. however it's mm-hmm. it's so uh you can feel the heart from that so it doesn't really matter what kind of genre it is mm. f- to me for me so mm. uh uh, so definitely the fans can I check. I hope so. <laughs> yes. So definitely fans can check you on YouTube and under Milasa are you. Milasa are you because this is the easiest best fate. Uh we actually Yeah, it's Russian side but we actually made a new page uh mm-hmm. which called milasamuse.com. Mhm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm milasamusic.com okay mm-hmm. so that's that's where you can find and all your YouTube, stuff Milasa, all the content so yeah. okay milasamusic.com yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. okay great mm-hmm. um so uh, so you now you now in copenhagen are you uh, uh what are you doing in copenhagen now so you are working or you what are you doing i'm studying at the royal danish academy of music mm-hmm. danish conservatory uh Classical guitar class. Um, How hard is my, to get to this this uh, uh, university? Um, it, it's also an interesting story because I never really uh, thought of uh, that that I could continue my education after music school and gymnasium, which was at that time it was like uh, sixteen years ago. I graduated, so I basically forgot everything. <laughs> Well, I played some of those uh, pieces which were on on that exam that time, but still, I mean, I I could I could imagine that it wouldn't be enough. It wouldn't be enough level to get into a conservatory. So I never really tried. Mm. I lived at that time. I lived already for I don't know nine nine years here in Copenhagen, and every time I passed uh, this building, I thought, oh. These people who study there must have been geniuses, you know, because it's 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 not about me anymore. I, I forgot everything. But then, you know, I have a I have a really incredible uh, friend here, uh, Lena, who said, "Yulia, why should you? Why don't you try?" Yes. And. You know, I um, I decided I decided to try. I found uh, the head teacher, the guitar teacher, and I just came and played my program for him. Mm-hmm. And you know, I must say, comparing to Russia, we have such a different way of teaching. In Russia, it's very very strict, mm-hmm. and it's very rare where when teacher can say that you played something like that so and my teacher Jesper from conservatory he just smiled and he said I play so musical musically how to say uh, and so well and maybe you should try and every time I came and played for him he would 
continue and saying this nice words about music I played and I was even more inspired even more inspired to continue and to even to practice more at home and I I must tell you I've never practiced so much with such a joy and then I just get in with the highest mark I could ever get and I was really shocked that I could do that yeah. after I, I don't know maybe it was two three months of preparations awesome so because it was also another uh, subject, another another exam, the th music theory. The, that was the oh, actually maybe most scary from all these exams, because <laughs> you should really know the theory, which which I thought I forgot. But you know, this time when I was sitting at home and listening all those all those uh, exercises and yeah, I kind of started again. And it's so interesting that sometimes we, we really, we, we have this wall in front of us that we cannot, or there's so much we think we cannot. Yes. Uh, <laughs> That's it. Um, we is, actually would can, be, yeah. would be Milasa mm -hmm. possible to play something for us? Mm hmm. Some, I'll play maybe if we talk about conservatory a little piece which called uh, Cancion uh -huh. uh, from Spanish. It's called uh, a song. Uh -huh. um, a composer by a Spanish composer uh, Ruiz Pipo. Uh -huh. Oh, I hope this my headphones would not stop me uh, to play. Sorry. No worries, no worries. Prepare yourself. Uh, we have a I plan. hope you will not. We have plenty of time. So we have plenty <laughs> okay. of time. Okay. It's definitely <laughs> wow, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Thank uh, you. You can see the the. Uh, I'm always saying, you know, without without the heart, you can play, you know, the technique as as is possible. But if you don't put the heart in it, will be never never best never never perfect. It's got to be heart in it, and you can feel you can feel the heart. You can feel you. I think you the, the love you cannot it. deliver it to 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 the people's heart. You you will not able to. I mean, yeah. they will not they will not be able to 
believe. To get it. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, wow, that was some some nice nice tunes. Um, so you told me one of one of your friends told me you know um, you you've been playing somewhere on the streets and something then happened. Can you? Can you tell us a little bit about the story? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it was interesting, <laughs> interesting evenings. It was 2010, where uh, it was the pedestrian street in Copenhagen, which called Stroed. <laughs> and I've been there with my friends. And I played guitar, I played some songs. And uh, there come two men, which stopped by. And said, what are you doing with such, with such voice on the street? Um, and I said, well, I'm it's just for fun, you know, I just here with my friends. And, and this guy, he was in, you know, very beautiful suit. And his friends were also like, they were coming from an event or something. Um, and uh, he said, that he also played and sang for many years at the streets and at the cafes. And he's originally from Argentina and lived last 30 years in Austria. And he became really, really famous after uh, the manager, which was uh, standing uh, next to mm -hmm. uh, made him famous right. basically wow. it was the story was like <clears throat> that uh and i was like like how what is your name maybe i, I should have know this name if he said my name is simena rossi i thought i never i never heard of this mm -hmm. name mm -hmm. he's probably kidding or something you know we stay in the street and you know who knows <laughs> But he kind of continued and he gave me a card where he was sitting in a gold chair, such a, such a man. And at the other side was his uh, tour, his spring tour, 2010. Uh, and every day, it was like 30 concerts, 35 concerts. Wow. And every day in different cities. And like cities like Berlin, like... Uh, Innsbruck, like this big, big cities, and also some other um, others as well. And I, I thought, how in the world? I've never heard of this name. If he's so popular, mm -hmm. well, he br he bought my CD. He took my um, telephone or email. Don't remember. He left, and then he decided to come back. Hmm. He took my guitar. He took my guitar and sang uh, uh, my way, Sinatra's my way, in Spanish. Really? <laughs> yeah. I never heard of this. In Spanish. Spanish? Wow. And in Spanish. I, He's I from think, Argentina. I don't, he I don't think I ever heard that in Spanish <laughs> myself. That's, that's an interesting <laughs> story. Yeah. In Spanish. But wow. believe me, he has such a, such a beautiful voice, I must say. And he played really well guitar. And I thought, well, maybe, who knows? You know? And then he gave uh, my guitar to me and he said, now, Julia, sing your song. So I sang this song. I can sing it afterwards when I'm finished. Oh, it's good. called Thousand Miles. Oh. Yeah. Um, and he came to me and he said, how many people were listening to me, to him? I said, there was four. And he said, count now, like after, after my performance. And I counted, it was 22 people. So he said, I promise you in three years or so uh, that you will have 3,000 people on your concert and, and so on, so on. And here I was like, I was almost stopping, stop uh, <laughs> uh, listening. I was like, yeah, thank you so much. Tom. Yeah, it's wonderful. Thank you. And he said, you know what? I invite you. I lost you. Hold on. Well, hold on. Hold on. S say again. Say again. Sorry, Melissa. Say again. Melissa. Invite me. So, Ivan, uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One sec. Uh, we're losing a signal here a little bit. 
Uh, poor connection, not sure why, because I'm on a full connection here. Yeah, try, no. Maybe it's no, my, uh, my daughter, no? Hold on. Sophia. Second. Hold on, try, hold on one no. second. Uh-huh. Could be anything. It's, uh, it's 3, 3.30 in the UK, so it might be. Might be my oh, side yeah. as well. Uh, it's come in. Yeah, it's better. I can hear you now. So yeah. Okay. So you've been saying so he invited you for the probably for some for the autumn tour uh, for his autumn, autumn tour. tour. Oh wow! Where I had to sing just one, just my song, basically just one, one, one song at mm -hmm. the show, because he 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 said that he has all kinds of stuff going on at the stage. Uh, and show is almost three hours, four hours. So he doesn't. Uh, ha there's no other, no, no more time than one song. And I said, <laughs> you know what? It's so interesting, uh, but I cannot. And my daughter was at that time uh, one and a half years old. And I said, I, I just cannot do that. Um, she still needs me, and so on. Mm -hmm. And he said, take her with you. <laughs> Dude, what's the problem? Wow. No, no. And I, I thought he's completely he's completely crazy guy. No? <laughs> but to make the story short, so I went to that <laughs> to that um, sh yeah, that tour without my daughter actually because I I went there for two days and back, three days back and then one week back, something something like that. And it was such an amazing um, experience that um, for, for the musician, you know, when you finally go from these four walls um, where I've been just a mom at the time and to such a big stages, I mean, like maybe the biggest in town, you know, it's it was from 2,000 to 9,000 people every day. And where was it? And there, so there, it was all uh, over the place in UK? In oh, it was... It was all over Germany, Austria, Belgium, Fran uh, uh, France. What else? Um, looking at my map. So all those German-speaking uh, yes, countries, right. mostly. Yes. So, and that was incredible uh, experience. And what interesting, another interesting story is that in three years, I've got a message from my friend. And he said, Julia, uh, do you know that Semina coming to Odense, which is uh, uh, a town just hour from Copenhagen, where mm -hmm. Hans Christian Andersen was born? Mm -hmm. um, and he came there. Uh, it was his another tour. And I, did, I decided to go there and to give him a hug and say how wonderful it was and how grateful I am. Because uh, being on tour, it's it's not just a song at the stage, you know? Yeah. Uh, you meet <laughs> so many beautiful people. Yes. You experience uh, after parties every, every day. And it's not like you drinking a lot or something, but you dance, you know? You really having a good time with good people <laughs> and you celebrate life really good so and that was funny uh that i met him again uh after the show and he gave me my guitar and he said julia sing just the same words and it was it was 100 percent deja vu i was like what's, go what's going on now what's going on <laughs> i sang a song and he said People should should hear this voice. Come with me on tour. <laughs> I was like, no way, because you know we never really we never really contacted after that show because Semino was unknown until he was maybe thirty two, uh, forty two even, mm -hmm. and I I just knew that he was very busy with his career, yeah. and I I sent him some messages uh, where I I basically said thanks for for everything. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I didn't exist, uh, insist on, uh, um, you know, some, how do you say, on just communicating every day or something. But um, he invited me to the second tour. And if first time I had 13 concerts, uh, this time was 2014. 
um, where where it was 30 concerts wow. and we actually played we actually sang uh, the uh, duet together really because in the beginning he yeah he invited me to um, play and sing a song uh, with a guitar but then they found out that it's not it's not it wasn't suitable for the show it was too too slow or I don't know so he, they decided to um, find another song, and it was funny. Simino, he's he's a very funny and charming charming guy. Uh, um, he he was coming back from Argentina uh, and calling me and saying, Julia, I was I've been listening uh, to uh, Andrea Bacelli when I was flying from Argentina. And I heard this beautiful song, and the stars across the sky. Da, 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 we were born to shine. I said, Simina, it's one week before the show. I mean, what are you talking about? He said, you have plenty of time. Go and 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 learn. And yeah, and I was like, no, and I, I have to come and sing right away. But we did. We did. We made people cry. It was, it was a very beautiful love story, you know, without kissing, without uh, really, all, no, no such story, you know, just really beautiful uh, song, two people singing, enjoying, um, yeah, each other music. Um, you can actually find it on both of the songs, first called Thousand Miles and another called Oh gosh, how it's called? <laughs> um, yeah, I forgot. We, um, we believe, I think it's called. Yeah. So, so I sing um, "Thousand Miles," and the lyrics uh, wrote my, my friend which I never met, actually. Uh, he's a Russian guy living in Canada, Alex Litavin, his name. And I'm also very, very grateful for, for people and to him who can um, sometime write lyrics for me. Mm -hmm. Great. Let's hear it. Mm -hmm. I see 
what was coming to us. Thousand tears, thousand cries, blood. We day after day. We flow, my love for you. We light up your path. Thousand moons, thousand stars. I'm crying. Oh, wow. What a beautiful song. Aww. So who wrote that? Who wrote the song? Thank you. I wrote the song. Yourself. I wrote oh my the song. God, you're so talented. Oh, yeah. They're unbelievable. Oh, oh unbelievable. as I said with my friend Alex Litavin. Wow. Yeah. wow. And I, I think it will be also one of the next songs uh, which will sh we should uh, I should release soon mm -hmm. because it's never been recorded. Uh, it's been always on only on live shows. So wow. I hope we'll make a good arrangement. Oh, well, I say right. we because I'm working on on the music nowadays with my um, boyfriend. He lives in Cyprus, um, so cypressstudio.com. I'm I can mention um, it's a professional studio, uh, professional sound engineer, an incredible person. Um, yeah, love of my life. <laughs> but he. He lives with you, not in Copenhagen, not in Cyprus. No. Okay. No, no, he lives in Cyprus, but we, oh. yeah, we fly. Oh. We fly. <laughs> At least we have cheap flights. Well, how are you flying these days? You can't fly anywhere, can you? No, no, oh. we, we cannot fly now, but uh, Cyprus, uh, I, we just find out Cyprus opens um, from 20th of June. Really? Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, country countries starts starts opening oh, finally. Okay. Mm. Wow, 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 wow! Oh, oh, speak oh. Like, I'm speechless now. I'm speechless. Mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm really. I don't. I'm not. I'm not surprised. You know, somebody, somebody. You know, when you play, when you play on the streets, and, and somebody uh, who understand, you know, uh, mm. what's going mm. on, and understand, you know. Uh, the things you know being touched because you can feel the heart you can feel the heart and, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's that's a key that's a key thing you can play as much as best that's you can if so you don't put, sweet of you Thank you don't you. put your soul in that that's uh, uh, half of the work is is gone so uh, you know maybe maybe for me uh, just one remark uh, how I I usually if I hear, for example, Abbas music, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Abbas song, yep. songs, yep. I start crying. Yep. I don't know why. I just, it's just, you know, uh, how they say that the body cannot lie. Yes. You, you cannot control these things, mm -hmm. right? Uh -huh. And I start crying. I don't know why. It's, it's a, it's a tears of joy. Yes. It's tears of, of, at the same time, tears of pain and drama and everything i cannot explain it yeah, yeah. the same uh, when i see a dolphin mm -hmm. i cry as well i don't know why they are fine they um 
swimming they but it's something which is beyond uh, um, my the mind yeah. it's beyond that wow. um, so uh i know you can't do any tour or do you plan any tours at the moment what's what's the story behind because not much uh, can be done at this point no i, I guess lots of musicians sitting now and thinking how it will work because we we are depend on public right um not touring but i think we should wait we we should just wait for for the time will come mm -hmm. and oh I, i would definitely love to come to england and to america maybe one day mm -hmm. maybe even sing in in the museum of emily dickinson or mm -hmm. you know this kind of thoughts But also Europe would be <laughs> really nice. Yes. Uh, it's always it's always um, uh, the the thing is always the the managers who could help uh, to arrange such things, such yes. uh, gigs. Yeah. Uh, because I'm always ready, you know. I I'm ready. I I can go yes. tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Uh, but still, <laughs> I I need to. I, I need to find the time uh, between my teachings as well. Yes. It will be my last year of master next year, so mm. and then I'm free. Yeah, okay. uh, but still, uh, there's lots of time. Mm, I can definitely do that. We'll see what what future will bring. So you you taking some um, lessons um, for your voice? Like, do you have a like a no, voice trainer? No, I, I never did. <laughs> Never did. No, I never did. Okay. Wow. Mm -mm. Wow. So everything comes natural. But that's the thing. I, I, it's like it's like some somebody from above, someone from above, um, trying to con maybe even control or lead me to another 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 way. Mm -hmm. Because I tried actually two times. A cup, uh, we have another conservatory here in Copenhagen, which called a rhythmical conservatory, mm -hmm. and I tried to come in uh, there as a, a get in as as a singer. And I, every time I uh, almost did, it. Mm -hmm. but I think my uh, my mistake was that I've never really met anybody from that conservatory i never really spoke to anybody i kind of hoped that i could just come from the street and and have my exam because they even removed all the theory parts you had to make 10 minutes concert that's it mm -hmm. and actually first time out of 100 uh, singers uh for the second tour it was 11 which they choose and i was one of the one of those and i don't know why i maybe they were uh, looking for someone particular i don't know uh, but that's the thing that i i myself i also wonder why why it's always guitar as my profession instrument um yeah but that's it that's but you will continue story. singing at the same maybe time maybe i shouldn't i don't know Maybe you should, uh, but you will continue with uh, with the guitar and singing together, or you want to stop singing. You can't, you yeah, can't yeah, stop no, singing. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not that. It's just I, I say that it's just the 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 school, the the hardest school mm -hmm. I get. Mm -hmm. It's for the guitar. Uh, so, yeah, I, I I just kind of rely on this destiny mm -hmm. that it should be like that yeah that i somehow should uh, have some more skills in playing guitar maybe mm -hmm. um, i don't know <laughs> so how this hard, what I how, hard mm -hmm. how long you you are uh, on a school how long you are playing on a guitar actually uh, since i was seven seven okay mm-hmm Mm. So, because your your mother couldn't afford the the, the piano, so you chose the guitar instead. Mm. And mm -hmm. what was the the first uh, what was the first song you learned? I'm sure you remember. I remember um, when I was six years old. You know, in Russia we all had some places. Uh, you know, children were busy. 
they were either um, in music in, or other in sport or doing something else, but we were all busy with something. So from six years old, it was uh, this musical studio where we had uh, choir, dance, and s- stuff like that. And at the choir, uh, once we learned, it was a Russian song, of course, uh, and the, the leader of the choir, she chose two girls who uh, she wanted to she needed a soloist for the for the song. Right. So it will be a choir singing with the soloist, and she chose two, and me was one of them. Mm. And imagine me, six years old. I don't know why it was like that. I was also later time. I was really embarrassing to have my guitar to to go with the guitar, and here as well. Like I was, I would just think, okay, if I now sing well. For this little examination where she has to choose, the leader has to choose the conductor who would sing actually the song. And I would imagine that my mom would come and she would listen to me and I would stay there and sing a song. I was so shy. I didn't want it to happen. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. And I, <laughs> on purpose, I sang bad. <laughs> so she, did, she didn't choose me. <laughs> but the song was about... Smishno? It's a Lindgren, a Swedish uh, uh, writer. She wrote about Carlson who lived at the roof. Maybe you know this book. It's very, very famous uh, book of her. Uh, uh, and it's called like that. Uh, it goes like that. Смешной человечек на крыше живет. Смешной человечек и риски жует. Та-та-та-та-та. Something like that, you know, children's song. I don't remember the lyrics anymore. Uh, I don't know if it was my first song, but f- yeah, first event, uh, I definitely, uh, definitely me- me- memorable and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> stupid, stupid decision. <laughs> so there was the there was the first song you actually play on a guitar with the guitar. No, 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 no. no, no. I played in the choir. Uh, the guitar. Oh gosh, it was that was so many. Oh, I don't remember. Oh. So you don't remember I the first. You don't remember over. the first one you actually learned on a guitar. The first accords no. or no, you don't remember. Wow. Mm-mm. Wow. I think I, I think it was uh, at uh, at once it was many mm-hmm. right away. Oh, I see. So so maybe that's why. Mm-hmm. Maybe because that because yeah. when I... But I think I started to sing uh, with the guitar when oh, oh. when I was eleven. Uh, no, twelve, twelve, some sometime. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so how what's the what's the difference when you play there and when you play now? So what's a what's a probably. A huge difference you're playing totally different way now uh how difficult was the transition go from uh playing or you always playing the way you play now no 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 <laughs> so how difficult of course it was, was more primitive let's say mm, to play chords and sing never been difficult mm-hmm. uh the only thing which been more and more, which uh, become more and more uh, difficult, is the the program at the conservatory. That's mm-hmm. it. Uh, uh, and now I'm trying to make my songs. Uh, um, you know, for me, all those years were very important like the voice were more 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 important than the the playing part and now when i have this knowledge uh i think i need to use it anyway and to put more instrumental uh playing in my songs so and uh one of the idea i i have now after playing so that i can that to it's like, you know, to show to the people uh, this beauty of classical music, mm-hmm. I thought I could do such a, a twist, how do you call it, yeah. between classical 
and my songs and mm -hmm. put them even together. Yeah. So they go like one piece. Mm -hmm. Listen to the, the the whole uh, classical piece, which is it takes much attention, and you know, um, and I thought if I would come with these drops of drops of the songs, which would refresh it, which would you know make it more alive, um, I thought it would be a good idea. Uh, I have incredible, uh, uh, yeah, pieces I, le I learned during my uh, school here, um, during my studies, and uh, I, I will definitely do that. So, um, so this is uh, something you know for the for the last you know uh, for the get get the uh, what is it called you know when you have to the diploma. So you will do something uh, special, special project. So this is something you're trying to do for the for the end of school. How long does the, the school usually takes? Four, five years, six years? F five years, yeah. Five years. Three years of bachelor and now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, my diploma, I have to even write the diploma, of course. Uh, and I have to choose the topic myself. Um, and the topic is... <laughs> it's, um, my uh, my best concert, which means, which includes um, ideas of, uh, I will have to work on my anxiety. Um, I have this fear of playing classic music on the stage. When it's, 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 I still cannot control it, you know, and it's so strange to me as well, because when I sing, I don't have any problems. When I start playing without singing, it's like somebody take it out of me or close, close, close my mouth. And I'm being absolutely naked. And I just know how hard is this program and that I have to play not perfectly, but I have to deliver as good as I can. You know? And this huge responsibility makes me shaking. So, and in this work, and my diploma, I will have to re research how can I do that. And one of the uh, methods, I think, which would work for me, uh, that was uh, this is what I, I just told you about uh, to combine these two worlds and maybe even to find the, the, the pieces, even classical pieces, which includes some uh, of uh, singing. I have now in my program uh, such, uh, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, for me, it's also the very strange thing that. Um, it's just the, yeah, I, I cannot explain it. It's just this responsibility I feel on my shoulders. So it's something something you're saying, you know, when, you, when you're when uh, in a school and you do exams, let's say on a guitar, you mm. still have the, the kind of, uh, I have to sing at the same time, but you couldn't. That's what you're trying to say, <laughs> is it? I, th I think it's somewhere inside of me. I get it unconsciously like that, that I... I, I I cannot sing. <laughs> I, I, this is my, one of the most uh, natural I I not able to do. Mm. Yeah. And, and the teachers but, don't um, understand. We'll see. No, you can't. You can't sing. No, we no, wanna, they understand. We want to. We want to hear just the, just the guitar. We don't want to hear you. I know you, you got a beautiful voice. <laughs> don't, don't. You know, I <laughs> no, I agree. No, no. no. Uh, it's opposite. I tell you, it's Denmark. It's something very, very opposite. They encourage me, actually. Uh, they oh, encourage good. me to do that. Oh, good. Uh, of course, I know that I cannot sing while I play classical music. But still, um, if if I choose such a, a musical piece, you know, you know, my teacher never said no. He 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 always encouraged because it's it's very important uh, for him that his students they they go go some 
to the school mm -hmm. and they they live their musical life they they, they mm. yeah that they can become some somebody yeah. huh? it's a it's a little bit like a, they can put signature under your name they say well that was my student by the way you know <laughs> yeah maybe <laughs> But he's an no, incredible I'm teacher. Sure. I'm sure. Yeah, that, well, that's, yeah. that's a good, yeah. that's a, you know, that's a bonus, you know. Mm. Um, I, was, mm. uh, I, was, uh, I was thinking something uh, when, it, when there was, that, you know, the, the whole story you, t you, you, think, you talk about the whole time. So, and, and, I'm, and I'm thinking, I need to ask you this. I need to ask you this. And I keep him forgetting. So um, it's, it's something, something I would like to say is um, you absolutely absolutely talented definitely that's uh, I'm, I'm sure you you know a million people you to already told you that um but um okay. where where you would like to see yourself let's say in five years um i think the biggest uh, dream of for uh, all musicians is is to Um, how do you call it in English? You know, when you have a mission and you leave, help me, you leave uh, doing your mission, yeah? This call, it's called happiness mm -hmm, for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when, when you, when you can, when you can do what you, what you, <laughs> you, you can so, do the best, right? Where I can see. Huh? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Mm. Five years. Um, I would definitely uh, continue writing songs, and hopefully, it will be a band uh, I can perform with, because the live uh, live performances is the, is the best I could ever wish for so, and when you see these rare people you know that they they are uh, they never expected that but they come to me and uh, they say these things to how important it was for us all listening to the CD or and uh, it just make me make me think and feel that um, I just I this is my life and I have to continue no matter what. Um, so is, uh, is there any date of tour we might see you? Or No, 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 not you, yet. No, not yet. So you like to finish the school no, first? No, but I mean... Um, it depends. You mm. know, if it's, if it's not a, a month's tour, and then it's fine. Mm. Uh, maybe it's just a few concerts yeah. uh, somewhere in England or yep. I don't know Germany. Or then the, it's so. Yeah. But uh, of course, I'll be more free when. Is there any is there any concert schedule at this time? This year? No, no, no. not at this. No, not as... we we don't know. No, but we don't know what What's, will happen. Yeah. Actually, it was uh, uh, we were talking with. Uh, uh, the how do you say the 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 guy who organized uh, the uh, festival in yep. in Cyprus mm -hmm. yeah the booker no uh, he's kind of the owner of the festival mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, we were that I will I will stay there in August but now it's like nobody knows uh, but it, they say it will be some kind of workshop so maybe 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 there oh, maybe okay. it will be there uh, uh, my first or. And then we'll see, because uh, now it's absolutely impossible, you see. Um, but at least if uh, airplanes will fly, then yeah. then we have we can uh, make a kind of plan. So mm -hmm. I even I even open uh, a bottle of champagne just today. Usually I'm, I'm oh wow. Usually, usually I have I'm, some water. <laughs> usually I'm drinking beer, you know. But you know, I was like. Uh, I can't it's a champagne, you said. N no, it's prosecco. It's not a champagne. It's a prosecco. A prosecco is my favorite. You know what? At that at that tour, we had it every day. It's my it's my favorite champagne, and I uh, actually I love champagne. I, I don't one... like so much wine, 
or others yeah but especially this so one maybe it's my influence yeah this <laughs> one is from by the way by the way uh russian russian uh champagne is one of the best uh not many people know that but Sovietska there you go soviet champagne yep so oh, okay <laughs> and this one particularly is from treviso which i visited a couple of years ago and uh mm -hmm. we we rented house uh from uh, one of the uh, on an r and b and there was uh coincidentally uh, mm -hmm. one of the italian um how do you call um jesus i can't get the name now anyway um <laughs> in he is he is um um doesn't matter anyway so every night they offer us mm -hmm. a home champagne from treviso home homemade from the from the loco and it was absolutely i was like mm -hmm. oh. and then we went home to little it was like a little little store a little and we bought we bought this five quid uh prosecco and since then you know we're looking for the tr prosecco with treviso on it so anyway um uh-huh okay that's I'll it remember so <laughs> that's it um uh, by the way by the way um uh, in w when i grew up uh i'm from czechoslovakia czech mm -hmm. republic when i grew up um mm -hmm. in the stores mm -hmm. we have a uh, i think the it's not it wasn't champagne it was a soviet mm -hmm. sovietsko je <laughs> igristo da. Da. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, the the Russian <laughs> Russian language was the mandatory in a school. Yeah. Uh, uh, but for some reason, I hated. Try, so, try, I, try. I hate it so try. much. I hate no. it. So, no, I hate it so ah. much. <laughs> so I said, oh. I said, I will never learn. So we have a mandatory in a school for eight years, and all I know is, každý každý Čech nemnožko govorit po rusky. Oh, I'm all idiot. No, no idiot. <laughs> well done. <laughs> so actually, quite a good pronunciation. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit now. It, it's the time, you know, when everything goes away. And, I, and as a teenager, little kid, I didn't understand that time. But now, uh, doesn't really matter, you know. It's it's a it's a language mm -hmm. which you uh, you know the, the the Russian country is. Uh, it's the biggest biggest country in the world so um, yeah. so yeah. half half uh, minimum half of the uh, planet uh, speak uh, the, the language so uh unfortunately m maybe if i if i have a good teacher maybe if i i can learn back again something but i still i still try you know when i see somewhere azbuka i always trying to you know read the words even when you send mm -hmm. the these mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah what's mm. it says on it maya sova maya sova Y mm, Julia. Julia, Julia, yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. See, I still still got a problem to get this thing down. So um mm -hmm. anyway, yeah. so that was that was my bad, but so I was always because the mm -hmm. other grades I have a good good grades, but the, the Russian I was like, mm, no, not fancy to do. So they always give me like uh, translate those twenty question uh, twenty words and we give you four minus okay good that's good it works for me <laughs> <laughs> so but uh, it's busy because you could have you could have read uh, poetry you could have read books uh yeah, yeah. in the regional yes language yes Unfortunately. It's, it's a bit pity yeah, uh it's beautiful language mm. yes it is yes it is and but i always have a difficulty mm. to uh, write in russian that might be might be the biggest mm. issue for me. You know what? I have a friend. Uh, she's from uh, Slovakia, I think. Mm -hmm. um, her she has three children. Her husband from Hungary. So uh, children speak. They 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 lived for some years here in Denmark. So they they speak Danish, English, French, Hungarian, Slovakian, uh, Spanish. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, and when she was in, at, sc at school that time, it, maybe it was the same time. Um, she's about uh, fifty, I think now. So it was also mandatory, and she uh, she forgot Russian. Mm -hmm. She forgot how to speak. Yes. But she can read. She can read books, uh -huh. and she understands me perfectly. Oh, okay. But she cannot. Yeah. She cannot talk. So That's... when we meet, it's actually strange. 
we we have strange conversation for for the other people because uh, she answers in English and I tell her <laughs> I'm talking in Russian. I know, but I, it works perfectly. So <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about yeah. because um, my my father immigrated in 1969 to Germany. And then my mm -hmm. mother moved back uh, to Germany from Czech Czechoslovakia to Germany. And so I was a kid, four years old or something. So I learned German perfectly. So I lost mm -hmm. my Czech language. And when we moved back mm -hmm. a couple of years back, uh, and three, I think three years later back. So I, the only language I speak was German. So I moved back to Czech Republic to trying to learn Czech again. So I never, I never forgot the, the German language. However was only like a simple mm. but i always have the perfect pronunciation perfect and then in 90 1989 or 90 um, i was traveling back to germany for the first time after these years and um the the guy on the you know the police uh, police border guys you know, they stopped me and i talked to him from the german side he's like and he was like his, his jaw dropped it's like where did you learn English? I mean, the German. I, he goes like, and I goes like, well, in in Nuremberg. Why? And he was like, what? <laughs> anyway, so basic. And then, and then uh, when I when I visit, when I visit, hello, daughter, how are you? <laughs> and when I when I she, she took my pencil. Okay. <laughs> I gi I give you my one. If you want. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so. If I so when I go and visit my father, which lives in Nuremberg, by the way, and his uh, my stepmother, she's understand English, but I don't speak German anymore. So that is exactly mm -hmm. the same thing. I, I, I talk in English, she answers in German, but we understand each other. So it's exactly the same same story. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I understand I understand yeah. Russian uh, it, uh, most of it. Strange how. But I can't I can't speak. Oh. Yep. Okay. So you, you'll be uh, the second friend who yes. who I can speak uh, the same the same way. <laughs> Хорошо. Мы поговорим в следующий раз по -русски. Да? Да. <laughs> 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 yeah. Next time, next time we can try in Russian. But I will talk probably mm -hmm. in English and mm -hmm. you can answer in Russian. So that will be like a multi, okay. you know, culture okay. interview. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Do you have an, uh, one uh, last song for the, for the wrap this, wrap this up? Yeah. Or before, oh yeah, just, just play the song if you don't mind. And then uh, we will have a, mm -hmm. the last, last word for the, for the fans and, um, uh, I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't want to cancel that. Uh, I don't want to close that. But I think uh, it's now hour and fifteen minutes. So can you? Believe wow! It? Can you believe it? <laughs> no, I, I, just, I couldn't feel. I don't. It. I don't mind. But it's just I have another interview at five o'clock my time. So that's all. Okay. It's called. Uh, I sing my songs today. Next time, maybe I can sing something else. Like no, Hallelujah no, no. We like to hear your songs. Some no, famous so songs. It's yeah. your song. Okay. We know all the famous mm. songs. We don't worry about <clears> them. <throat> we we like to hear your songs. Yeah. Today. <laughs> it's called All I Know. Great. All I know, you always where to go to find myself as always all I know it comes from you what to see it with and what to do as always would it be without you? What would I do without you? All I see from inside what to show
and what to hide as always. Will you give each joy to me, the gift of love for all to see as always. How would it be? Nothing could be without you today. Thank you. Wow, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I can, uh, you know, I can be here all day long and listen to to your songs. <laughs> but um, well, then definitely visit my Spotify. Yes. Yeah. So we say Spotify Milasa, YouTube Milasa. Uh, it's called youtube.com slash milasa are you yep. channel or just milasa yep. then uh, milasa music.com yep. then uh, my studios slavic selling his name uh cyperstudio.com um itunes uh, google what will else spotify uh now the new song is released and i'm very very happy uh, happy about it and um hopefully we can we can do more interviews i'm, I'm all yep. for it yep yep no problem and it, it, it's it's such a pleasure to talking to you you thank are, you thank you very you, much you have this <laughs> thank you. you you have this um listener quality um oh thank you uh, which is very very dear to me i need thank to you. i need to bring my wife now because she said well you never listen to me <laughs> oh <laughs> Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, as you, anytime you feel, 
uh, give me a call and we can arrange something, you know, again, mm -hmm. I love to love to do that again. So, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the artists now, uh, we have this kind of a rule that we have to release every six uh, weeks new song. Oh. So maybe before uh, yes. next song, which is already ready, which I actually, I, I think it will be that it's, it's called I've seen a light yeah. and actually uh, the lyrics wrote one of your citizens. He's Englishman, Andrew New, uh, Andrew uh, Morris. Mm -hmm. uh, his name, um, wonderful musician. And I took one of his texts and wrote a song. Oh, really? And it's been uh, recorded in India. Oh, really? <laughs> Why in India? Mm. <clears throat> Oh, this, I don't know, uh, at that time I was in, in touch with the Indian musician, so yeah. he he just made arrangement for me. It will be like lounge, uh, lounge style. So there is lots of styles I'm trying out now, but uh, maybe I will come to one style soon, as it was your question before, in five years, maybe it will be gothic rock band, I don't know, it, it also could be. Maybe something else. Hmm? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now you got me. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, no, you got me before. That. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yes. Well, you'll probably forget about me, you know, after we hang up. But uh, if you, no, if you still if you still remember me, uh, radioblastream.com, uh, yeah, or you can mm -hmm. text me. We now have, uh, we can share the, Martin, the profile. Martin, we meet each other soon online or we live. Have to, or we whatever. have to, we Please. have to, we have to. Yes, yes. But don't say that. It was yes. such a pleasure. I would love to. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, so, um, mm -hmm. yes. no, the, the, pla the uh, it's my so <laughs> anyway basically Aww. what I'm trying to say hopefully hopefully we'll see you somewhere live mm -hmm. soon mm -hmm. and yeah um, doesn't matter where I'll book the flight and come over I'll, I will watch your uh, profile so if something mm -hmm. pops up I'll definitely come over for the for the concert mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. uh, hopefully it doesn't take ages and um, if you feel like, yeah. and if you have uh, another song in th six weeks, that would be great opportunity mm -hmm. for me, for you, maybe, uh, mm -hmm. to uh, get together again, do a little bit session like this again. I love that. Yes, do yes, again. yes, All right? definitely. Awesome, yeah. mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank yes. You, thank you very much. Uh, enjoy thank the rest you. of Have your a... day. Beautiful weekend. You and, too. Uh, you too. You too. And say and say I'm so sorry, your your family uh, to interrupt your. I know we we took this a little bit longer than it was uh, expected, but hopefully, hopefully, you know, uh, they a little bit enjoy. I didn't. This. What you say? You were frozen. What did you say? I just say I'm sorry. You know, uh, we took too much time of your family. Uh, time of your family time on friday afternoon so oh no 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 it's fine okay good okay now my daughter she 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 knew that okay. so we go for a walk now it's it's fine <laughs> okay. oh please uh it's this is important now and uh, okay. Okay. yeah I, okay, i'm good. so happy okay good, good we good, kind good. of found each other here. okay great mm. great yes. so if you if you don't mind yes, i would yeah. love to do this again yes. Uh, if you feel like it, you know, uh, there is mm -hmm. something, you know, you like to share with us, definitely uh, drop me a text. I will, I will, that will mm -hmm. be an honor and pleasure to do so. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Thank Have you. Have a great weekend. Thank you. And uh, nice to meet T you. Take again. care. Take care. You too. This you too. strange times. I yes. Know, I know. I know. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Right. Thank you. <laughs> See you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Okay, guys, uh, yes, that was uh, Milasa. Uh, she lives in Copenhagen, but she uh, she's from Russia. Uh, such a beautiful person, unbelievable, big heart, beautiful voice, uh, awesome a guitar player, and uh, yeah, that's all I can say at this time. Uh, keep listening, Radio Bloodstream, and we will have... Uh, in about 30 minutes, 
in about 30 minutes, we will have a band called Game Zero, streaming live from Rome, Italy. Italy. Italia. Capisce? Italia. So we will have this band in about 30 minutes, live streaming here now. So stay tuned, Radio Blast Stream. I'll see you soon. And don't forget, me, Lassa, YouTube, Facebook, uh, Spotify, all these uh, iTunes. You can check this new song uh, from, from Milasa. Definitely check them out. There's a big heart in the songs. All right? Stay safe, and I love you all. See ya. Bye.